Okay. We're going to start at this uh, as an experiment to see if we can get the classroom here with all of us. There's 19 of us here, I think, or 20 people now. And this is the Sacha Vibhanga Sutta uh, number 141 in the Majima Nikaya. And it's called the Exposition of the Truths. And in this sutta, it begins to talk about the Eightfold Path. So until everybody gets here, I'm going to do the front part of the sutta because uh, there are valuable things here for everybody, you know? So, thus I have heard on one occasion, the Blessed One was living at Benares in the Deer Park at Isipatana. Okay, I'd like you to bring a chair this time up here so that we can pick it up here and they can hear it too. So does she have a chair? Is there a chair? Uh, no, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Sachibibanga Sutta. Put it back here so you're, you're like that and they'll pick it up. You won't be on it, but you'll be picked up. Okay. Okay. Thus I have heard on one occasion the Blessed One was living in Benares in the Deer Park at Isipatana. There he addressed the bhikkhus thus. He, he said, Bhikkhus, Venerable Sir, they replied, and the Blessed One said this. At Banaras, Banaras, Bhikkhus in the Deer Park at Isipatana, the Tathagata accomplished and fully enlightened, he set rolling the matchless wheel of the Dhamma. And this cannot be stopped by any recluse or Brahmin or God or Mara or Brahma or anyone in the world. And that is the announcing, the teaching, the describing, the establishing, revealing, and expounding, and exhibiting of the Four Noble Truths. Of what four are we speaking? The announcing, the teaching, describing, and establishing. The revealing and expounding and exhibiting of the noble truth of suffering. Revealing manje lokan samor anme ani kaayatar char arya satya. And the, the announcing, the teaching, the describing and revealing of the noble truth of the origin of suffering. And the revealing of the truth of the noble truth of the cessation of suffering. And the explanation, the noble truth of the way leading to the cessation of suffering. At Benares, Bhikkhus in the Deer Park at Isipatana, the Tathagata accomplished and fully enlightened, he set rolling this matchless wheel of Dhamma. Varanasi Made, Isipatana Migadai Made, Buddhani, Hazo Dhamma Chakrahe, to 
I feel like I'm going in a circle. Okay. <laughs> um, and it just cannot be stopped by any recluse or Brahmin or God. And it begins with the expounding and exhibiting of the Four Noble Truths. Cultivate friendship of Sariputta and Moggallana monks. Associate with Sariputta and Moggallana. They are wise and helpful to their companions in the holy life. Sariputta is the mother. Sariputta he ek aai sarkhya hai. Moggallana is your nurse. Ani Moggallan he ek nurse sarkhya hai. Sariputta trains others for the fruit of the stream entry. Sariputta loka na train karta ta stream entry is sota karna. Up yes, but up to the fourth jhana is where he goes. And many people became Sotapanna listening to the Dhamma. And Moggallana trains for the supreme goal, the mental realms and reaching Nibbana. Sariputta is able to announce and teach and describe and reveal and exhibit these four noble truths. So the Blessed One said, and having said this, the sublime one rose from his seat and he, and he went into his dwelling. Then soon after the Blessed One had gone, the Venerable Sariputta addressed the monks thus. Friend, the, the bhikkhus replied to the Venerable Sariputta, and the Venerable Sariputta said this. In this park, dear park at Isipatana, the Tathagata has come, and he is rolling the matchless wheel of the Dhamma. And by doing this, he is exhibiting the four noble truths. The announcing and the exhibiting of the noble truth of suffering. Of the noble truth of the origin of suffering. That which is the cause of the noble truth of the cessation of suffering. That which is the escape from the suffering. And the noble truth of the way leading to the cessation of suffering. And what, friends, is the noble truth of suffering? We know this as birth is suffering. Aging is suffering. Death is suffering. Sorrow, lamentation. And pain, grief, and despair are suffering. When you do not obtain what you want is suffering. The five aggregates affected by clinging are suffering. So, so if something has the possibility of being suffering, 
you have to crave and cling to it. Remember the mm -hmm. sutta last night in the Matupadika Sutta, mental proliferation is the clinging. Mm -hmm. And it runs on and on and on about what you are concerned with. But uh, the actual five aggregates are affected by clinging. When that happens, mm -hmm. there is suffering. <laughs> And this means we can accept the five aggregates, body, feeling, perception, thoughts, and consciousness as potentials for suffering, but they not suffering until you personally are clinging. Okay. Vichar and body feeling. and Thoughts, Sankara, and consciousness. So what, friends, is birth? Now he's going to identify these pieces. What is birth? The birth of beings into various orders of beings. They're coming to birth. Precipitation in the womb. They are growing in the womb. Their generation and process of growing in the womb. And the manifestation of the aggregates obtaining the basis for contact in the being. <laughs> you are growing your eyes, your ears, your nose, your tongue, your body. And this is called birth. And what, friends, is aging? The aging of beings in the various orders of beings. It is their old age, their brokenness of teeth, the grayness of their hair, wrinkling of skin, decline of life, the weakness of their previous strengths and faculties. And this is called aging. And what, friends, is death? The passing of the beings out of the various orders of beings, they're passing away. The dissolution, uh, disappearance, dying, the completion of the time, dissolution of the aggregates, the laying down of the body. This is called the death. And what, friends, is sorrow? Sorrow, sorrowing, sorrowfulness. Inner sorrow. Inner sorriness. <laughs> of one who has encountered some misfortune. Or one who is affected by some painful state. This is called the sorrow. And what, friends, is lamentation? Lamentation, 
the wail and lament. <laughs> the wailing and lamenting. <laughs> continued bewailing and lamentation. <laughs> of one who has encountered the misfortune. And is affected by a painful state. And what is the pain? Bodily pain, bodily discomfort, painful, uncomfortable feeling that is born of bodily contact <laughs> sitting in the wrong position of meditation <laughs> this is called the pain <laughs> that is why we change our position <laughs> and what friends is grief 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 is also mental pain no Watch, okay. Ah, it is me mental pain, mental discomfort, painful, uncomfortable feeling that is born of a mental conduct, tact, contact. Bringing up the memory of someone who has died is mental pain. Bringing up the disaster of a mudslide or a disastrous thing that happened is mental pain. And what, friends, is despair? You go. Uh, feeling despair is um, giving up like that, yeah. The trouble and despair, the tribulation and desperation. Tribulation is uh, difficultness of it. Yeah. And desperation is crying out, why is this happening? happening to me desperation crying out to the world come and save me someone please that's your desperation of one who has encountered misfortune and been affected by painful states when this happens and this is called the painful state. This, this is the despair. This is the despair. And what, friends, is not to obtain what one wants is suffering. To beings who are subject to birth, there comes a wish. Oh, oh, that we were not subject to birth. Oh, we wish that we were not subject to birth. And that birth we wish would not come to us. But this is not to be obtained by wishing. And not to obtain what one wants is suffering. And to being subject to aging, subject to sickness, subject to death, subject to sorrow, lamentation, pain, Grief and despair. There comes the wish. 
Oh, that we were not subject to this sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief, and despair. We wish that this sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief, and despair would not come to us. But this is not to be obtained by wishing. Not to obtain, uh, not and not to obtain what one once becomes suffering. And then there are the five aggregates affected by clinging that in short, they become suffering. They are the material form affected by clinging. The feeling aggregate that is affected by clinging. Perception aggregate affected by clinging. Formations aggregate affected by clinging. And consciousness aggregate affected by clinging. These are the five aggregates affected by clinging. And in short, they are thus suffering. And this is called noble truth of suffering. So, so he laid out the diagram for the first noble truth right there in that last two paragraphs. And listen to the second one. Noble truth. And what, friends, is the noble truth of the origin of suffering? It is craving, which brings the renewal of this being. And it is accompanied by delight and lust. Delights in this and that. Craving for the sensual pleasures and craving for being. And craving for non-being. This is called the noble truth of the origin of suffering. And the noble truth of the third noble truth. What happens? What happens now is the noble truth of the cessation of suffering. noble truth of cessation. We, we seek the remainderless fading away and ceasing. The giving up and relinquishing. Letting go. And rejecting of that same craving. It is this that is called the third noble truth. The cessation of suffering. So now you see how your practice fits into this, right? And when we get into the noble path, just around the corner here, we will see how we are actively doing that in the practice of TWIM. So you are building and fortifying cessation of suffering in the brain of the person every time that you let go, which is relinquishing. And soon we find out the rejecting of something. Does that mean we throw it away or push it away or try to stop it? We abandon it. We let it go and relax. 
So what, friends, is the noble truth of the way leading to the cessation of the suffering? This comes to be the noble eightfold path. Now, these things are originally called right view, uh, right view manje, yogya and right intention yogya intention intention actually um sankalpa sankal mm -hmm. most of the time the sankara we say thoughts mm -hmm. so sankara intention right speech uh, yogya vacha right samyak vacha uh, right action uh, okay. right livelihood and right effort and right mindfulness and right concentration. But so now we look at each one of these pieces and we look at this um, in both ways. We look at it how it is here in the text and we also look very closely how did each one of these affect our meditation practice directly. Throughout the history of Buddhism, the Eightfold Path can be presented to a community, okay? In one way, it can be in, in, uh, taught to you directly concerning your practice that's the second way then it can be taught to you another way we'll talk about at the end so now what friends is right effort I'm sorry, what is right view? Now I'm gonna, I think I wanna turn this a little bit so that they can see the word I'm gonna teach off of this board. So um, how can I do that? You guys wanna turn the board over here yeah, maybe? Right. Okay, and um, take the, that's good. We have helpers here. This is great. <laughs> no, we, no, no, no. We, we need to put it. No, go. Okay. Go out there by that pillow. It's going to be, it's going to have its back to them. They, this, this camera here has to see that. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to figure out how to zoom into that. I have no idea. Right. Let's see. Oh, that's funny. The camera is coming this way. <laughs> this is lots of fun. It's I'm a having... front camera. Uh, how, it's a what? Front camera. How do, is there a camera out no, there? No, 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 this, this does not happen. Okay, the joke's on, okay, the joke's on me. Pull it over just a little bit. <laughs> no, get, uh, get that thing back, 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 back directly. Back, your back. Back directly, show. You really think you can do that with all yes, these statues? Yes, yes. <laughs> This is we're gonna, we're gonna have fun now. Okay, watch. Now, first you have to move this microphone, right? That one over there. And then two of you have to lift this and move it out. You really do? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, good. Okay, good. It'll go. All right. Oh, these boys are gonna figure everything out. <laughs> okay, here we go. Dum 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 da dum da dum da dum. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Okay, wait a minute. You have to turn it, and I have to go like that, and we go like this. Okay, okay. it's not perfect for me. <laughs> okay. With this, no, see. it's okay. I'm gonna go like. No, with this, you show it now. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. No, they can hear me. Can everybody? They can, they can, they can Sarma, can you hear me? Sarma, can you hear me okay? Yes, yes, you are visible okay, and you are. Okay, that's yes, good. Yeah, 
Now I'm having a lot of fun because you remember this from the, from the retreat. <laughs> this is, by the way, anybody who has not been at a retreat, this is what I use to tickle your ear while you are sitting. <laughs> and you are, if you are not sitting properly, I tickle your ear and you straighten up right away. Isn't that true, Sarma? <laughs> okay, so here we go. Okay, hi everybody. Okay, so now can, I hope you can see this board because it's not black, but let me see, I can do something with this. Um, the, the, the light, yeah. On the left leg. Put it, not that, yeah, that's it. Now can you see the, see the board? I don't know if you can see it. Yeah? No, no. You can't. Can you, can you can, well, okay, well, yeah, but I don't know how they can. The light is they open. Only view your screen. <laughs> okay, I, I could take care of this because I don't have any wires. So, okay, you got to tell me, Sarma, tell me if you can see it. Wait a minute. That's a tricky thing. Okay, wait, I'm trying to line it up. Can you all see it now? Can you see it? Uh, we can see the board, but not the writing. You can see the board, but they okay. They can see the board, but they can't see the writing, and oh. we don't have a board. Writing is difficult. Paper. So that ends that. <laughs> writing is difficult can, to understand. We will, we, will, we will never do this again without having brand new markers. Okay, okay. okay. please continue. You please continue. Oh, wait a second. Here's what's happening. Bonti has solved the problem. Bonti Damagavesi no, is here. No. No, but no, I no, I don't mean that. He can hear you. He can. He can. Um, if you take a picture and just send it. And WhatsApp, WhatsApp. Send it. Send it to all these people. I can't do this. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> Send it to everybody. <laughs> okay. Well, we're just gonna we're just gonna talk about it. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. So now they've moved my board away. So I have to go like this. All right. So the first one, the first one is, of course, the first one is going to be right view. And this is about we're we're teaching you the, the eightfold path tonight as an operational support for your meditation. Let's make that clear. That's how this is, you're learning it, okay? It's not the community version and it's not the other, the last version that I'll do for you at the end. It's the middle version. And this is the one that if you learn it this way, it will help you a whole lot with your practice of meditation. So here's how we go. This is right view. And, and this view has to do with wholesome and unwholesome thoughts, words, and actions, okay? And if you are living in the Buddhist training, you're living in that and you're practicing, the best support for your meditation is to be thinking and speaking and acting in wholesome ways, according to keeping your precepts, this is all hooked together. The precepts are protecting you from the hindrances. They're like an umbrella that protects you from the hindrances coming down and attacking you, okay? But the other big support for you, the, the larger one, is this whole structure of the Eightfold Path, okay? So you have right view here, and we call this a harmonious, harmonious perspective. Now, a harm, oh, that's pretty good, kind of, that, the one you put on here. Okay, somebody put one up. I don't know how that happened. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's here. So now this harmonious perspective is your view. View and perspective, your personal perspective. How do you see life as it's happening? Do you immediately go to the negative and the bad side and the, you know, the unwholesome side of interpreting what is happening? Immediately. Lots of people go immediately. And the best story I've ever heard about this was a soldier uh, who uh, came home from Afghanistan and he was dating a woman in New York City, okay? And he was getting ready to marry her. 
And he was, uh, had proposed and they were getting ready to have a wedding in just a few weeks. And what happened was uh, she had left the apartment and she came back to get something. And when she came back to the house, he was there and she opened the door and there he was kissing another woman. Oh boy. But <laughs> she immediately got really upset didn't want to hear anything from him or the woman, went out the door, slammed the door, and for another cup, about a week and a half until this was all straightened out, she wouldn't speak to him at all at first. She thought he was just playing around with another woman. Immediately she thought that, you see. And what happened was um, it turns out <laughs> that this woman he was kissing was his sister coming back from Afghanistan because he told her that if she could get leave, she should come back because they were going to get married. And he didn't think she was coming. She arrives and he throws his arms around of her and just kissing her all over. But it's his sister. But she didn't even stay long enough to find out it was his sister. She just ran out the door and went to her mother and what shall I do? And all this ruckus started and then they had to straighten it all out. So what happened? Her perspective was prepared for the worst view. The story. You want to tell the story? harmonious perspective. एक अफगाणिस्तानचा व्यक्ती होता आणि त्याला एका न्यूयॉर्क मध्ये राहणाऱ्या एका व्यक्तीशी काय झालं प्रेम झालं तर त्या दोघां ते दोघे एकमेकांशी भेटू लागले आणि त्यांनी डिसाइड केलं की आता आपण लग्न करायचं लग्न करेपर्यंत ते सिरियस होते तर एकदा तो तिला भेटायला आलेला आणि ती घरी आली अपार्टमेंट मध्ये तर तिने पाहिलं की तो एका दुसऱ्या स्त्री बरोबर आहे आणि तिने तितकंच पाहिलं आणि तिला राग आला आणि ती तिकडून निघून गेली आणि ती म्हणाली की म्हणजे ती काही बोललीच नाही ते बघून आणि निघून गेली तर ते असं होतं की ती जी मुलगी किंवा ती जी स्त्री आली होती ती कोणी नाही तर ती त्याची बहीण होती जिला त्याने लग्नासाठी बोलवलेलं होतं पण ती त्याची जी प्रेयसी होती तिने ते बघ पाहिलंच नाही किंवा ती चर्चाच केली नाही की ते काय चालू आहे तर काय झालं याच्यात की तिचा जो दृष्टिकोन एक घटना घडली आणि तिने कसं त्याला ग्रहण केलं So you see what happens when you decide something right away, but you're training yourself to, to just interpret things in the, in the worst way without even finding out what, what is going on, you see? So having a balanced perspective is where there is harmony, harmony in your life. You want to produce harmony. You do not want discord is the opposite of harmony. So आ, harmony and discord. So that we don't look at any of these things negatively. But we have a harmonious perspective on our lives. We have a good perspective. So to keep your mind uplifted, you always assume the best hmm. in the situation first before you make any other decisions. So we don't have to do it. We have to do it with positive perspective. The second one is called imaging. And the traditional way is to say right intention or right thought. Okay. But we call this harmonious imaging. So why do we call it imaging? harmonious imaging and the imaging, you hold images in your mind. And those images lead to ideas and intentions to take action. And the Buddha told us that we can be uh, the captain of our ship. He can basically be in charge of our life in, and get in control of it, but we have to concentrate on keeping healthy images in our mind during the day. Buddha means that we can become the captain of our boat. That's the reason that we can become the captain of our boat. 
पण त्याच्यासाठी तुम्ही तुमच्या माइंड मध्ये आधी चांगले विचार किंवा चांगले इमेजेस आणा जे तुम्हाला लीड करतील दिस बिकम सो इम्पॉर्टंट दॅट वी फाइंड इट हॅपन्स इन you know the buddha tells us he says what you think and you ponder on that becomes the inclination of your mind buddha sangtat ki tumhi ji gosht vichar karta kiwa ja goshti badal chintan manan karta tes tumche jivnacha inclination bante kiwa tithes tumche jivan jivnachi ek lay tumhala lagte in in the dwaita vitaka sutta sutta 19 uh, section 6 the bhikkhu he says to the bhikkhus whatever a bhikkhu frequently thinks and ponders upon that will become the inclination of his mind ye je dvedha vitakka sutta ahe tyamadhe buddha sangtat ki ekada bhikshu ja goshti kade tyacha chittala nena kiwa varna ye tes tyacha jivnacha varan bantu mi mi okay and then what happens in the chula kama vibanga sutta reflecting what it's talking about what it it's really saying to you in the chula kama vibanga it's indicating that what you do in this present moment dictates what happens in the future so it's up to you you cre- you therefore you are creating each individual day's experience you create it nobody else creates it you do त्यामध्ये बुद्ध सांगतात की वर्तमान काळातले जे तुमच्या क्रिया असतात ना ऍक्शन असतात ते कसं तुमचं फ्युचर प्रेझेंट करतं किंवा फ्युचरला रिफ्लेक्ट करू शकतो सो यू आर द वन who actually creates your own life from that indicator where we saw that you know in in the suttas about the karma you know you are the one that are creating your life it isn't anybody that is putting your life in front of you it's you tumhi swata ahe je tumche jivnala banavat ahat create karat ahat konni dusra nahi create karat ahet mhanje tumhi baghitla hai suttan madhe karma siddhant tumhi baghitla hai की आपणच असतो जो आपल्या जीवनाला घडवत असतो बनवत असतो ओके दिस कंटिन्यू इन द थर्ड वन दिस इज अबाउट हार्मनी इन दिस वन इज आल्सो कम्युनिकेशन नाउ वी यूजुअली से राइट स्पीच ओके सम्यक वाचा बट द ट्रेडिशनल इज राइट स्पीच बट आई थिंक यू नो मेबी बॅक देन पीपल रियली डिड हॅव समथिंग एल्स इन mind other than just talking i think so pan tumha lokanna maiti asel ki lokancha manat kay tari veglat chalat as chalu aste fakt bolat bolat astanna dokya kay tari veglat chalat asu shakto and when you're around country people you they're very very clear about this you know it's time to come in for dinner i'm speaking with my voice but even putting my hands on my hips and standing in the doorway it with five children who are still playing outside and i finish cooking the dinner but all i have to do is it's time to come in for dinner now i don't even have to say that and they're going to come in so what am i doing body i'm speaking with my body with my speech and my my expressions so when we say communication it includes everything it includes speaking it includes motion and that whole thing expression in our in our face the 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 notorious thing the notorious thing for families with children do you remember the mother's voice do you remember that when you were growing up if she comes out on the porch and you didn't come when she called you she'll say your dad is home the dinner is on the table that's all you have to say and they come in because the next thing is not so good ata samyak vacha badal sangitla ata samyak vacha kay asthe ki jevha apan bolto tevha apli body manje body pan bolte आपले चेहऱ्यावरचे एक्सप्रेशन आणि आपली जी बोलण्याची पद्धत असते त्या सगळ्याच गोष्टी त्या सम्यक वाचामध्ये येतात जसं त्यांनी उदाहरण दिलं की एखादी आई जेव्हा जेवण तयार असतं आणि मुलं बाहेर खेळत असतात तर ती कशी बोलते तेच वाक्य ती कोणत्या अॅटिट्यूडला तुम्हाला कळलं असेल तर ते कारण का त्या मुलांना माहिती असतं आता आत गेलो नाही तर आपल्याला काय प्रत्यपळतील मग ते बरोबर आत येतात त्या वेळेला 
The next one that you find is these are these two in the middle here. These two are about actions. Actions. Mm -hmm. So instead of saying right action, just meaning it in, implies just your body and what you do physically. Instead of doing that, we looked at right action. It's the movement of mind's attention in your mind. While you're moving with your body, what is your mind doing? So even if you're just walking or you're going from your house to your car to go to work, what exactly is in your mind when you are walking from the house door to the car door? See, have you already jumped into who's going to come to lunch and will I make that appointment? And what's the statement at the bank going to say at work? And who do I call first? Have you already been going like that? Because if you did that, if you did that, how are you going to only drive the car? That's interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So communication, this communication has to include, I'm sorry, the mo movement of mind's attention is part of action. It's part of right action paying attention to what's happening in your mind while you're moving in any way at all in life. Suppose <laughs> And so this probably comes back to the point of the first thing you hear in the Dhammapada, right? It must have been important mind is the forerunner of all states mind made are they whether they're wholesome or unwholesome what's going on in your mind it all starts in your mind so we're talking about keeping an eye on your mind and what it's doing okay so you go through your day that way better to keep your precepts <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's right. I mean, you know, it's like I'd love to think about um, the, the Los Angeles freeway. It's like six lanes are moving in one direction and six lanes are moving in the other direction, I think, on that highway. Most of the beltways around the cities, that's how it is. So, I mean, the question is, you better be driving. You better not be on your phone. You better be paying attention because at any second, there can be an accident with thousands of cars. Like, I don't quite understand India, but I do know one thing. I don't want to try to drive here, okay? <laughs> you know, because you have some kind of a sixth sense that you never hit anybody. You, you, you managed to go like this on the road. You know, I, I can't even think about attempting this. You have, and a, a one American, he came and he said, I'm gonna get a car, I'm gonna drive all over it. He, one week, one week took the car back in one week's time. And then they talked it over, they hired somebody to take them wherever they wanted to go. We just don't, we would have to be here for a long time with somebody trying to wake up this sixth sense of driving here, sensitivity to people, you know. <laughs> Next one is right livelihood and the livelihood issue, you know, it came up for my teacher for Bhante Vimala Ramsey when he was teaching this to us, he would point out 
The first time the Buddha teaches the Eightfold Path was the Dhamma Chakra, that sutta about the Dhamma Chakra wheel, right? Okay. So when he's doing that, who is he teaching? The five monks, right? The five aesthetics. He's teaching five aesthetics. So do you think that they need advice? These five aesthetics, do they need advice about don't, don't do it, don't take it? They'd already stopped taking jobs, first of all. So do you honestly think that he said something about don't take help people make poisons and don't help with, I don't know if there was ammunition, don't carve arrows maybe or something? Like and 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 what business in animals or oh, don't have business in animals or slaves animals. or women or men slaves but i don't think that he was talking to the aesthetics about that i think he was talking to the people about that so the question is what was he actually talking to what was the discussion that went on after that dhamma talk okay with with the aesthetics and him that's what we were curious about. You have to decide for yourself. But what, what we look at is, you know, if you're going to follow the Buddhist practice, you want to arrange your lifestyle in a way that it supports you so that you are able to take time to do your meditation each day. Now, this doesn't have to be like, we need a separate house built beside this house. Does that mean that, or I have to have a private cootie in the backyard doesn't mean that. It means that somewhere in the house or somewhere on the property around where you live, even if it's in a corner, uh, just a small corner on the porch, if you're in an apartment house, or if you have a tiny one tree, one person said, my house is only two rooms but I have a tree. I said, ah, a tree, I said. You put a, a bench by the tree and then you, whenever you're sitting on that bench, you take, you take a scarf and you put that over your head. And if somebody comes in the yard from the family and they see you sitting there like this, okay, on that bench, you don't bother that person. And anybody in the family can decide to sit on the bench. Nobody will disturb them and let them alone. You see? So you have to use your imagination, but it, do you have enough space in your house to have an altar that is next to your bed by the wall? You can fall out of bed and sit on the floor in front of a small altar. I, I used to do that. I lived in an attic room. Uh, in a big old house in Washington, D.C. And I, I was up in the, in the attic. I had a bed and a small little wall that I put up. I had a, um, a small altar that I set up. I could roll out of bed and sit in front of it to worship the Buddha in the morning. Or if I woke up at night while I was practicing really heavily, I could get up and sit until I got sleepy again and get right back in bed. These are the kind of things that you can think about and develop. So you're talking about your lifestyle. Do you have a job that takes your life away and you have no time for yourself at all? You need to make an adjustment. You need to be doing the same profession maybe that you love to do, but you need to get yourself in a position where you have time for your life development and time for your business and time for your meditation development. That's what you have to look at. So we're talking about a lifestyle and not just your livelihood. Your livelihood is included in what I'm saying. That's not being abandoned. We're just making a point that it's an idea to set up your life for this if you're going to develop it sincerely. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Translate that. Some like Ajinka Buddha Sangit, some like livelihood. Thir Survatila then me Sangit the key Buddhani, Heje, Ariashtangi, Marga, Buddha Marga, Kunala Sangit Lope, a Panchavagiana Sangit Lope. The Panchavagiana, some like Ajivika Kas Uncle Buddha keep poison with a profession Nasaway, poison to business, poison to business Nikarava, give a prananza business Nikarava, give a das dasinza business, give a slaves, give a woman's. Weapons of business nai karava hai. Vikshun na sangai chhi kai garaz hai. To the ye mantar ki mii ani mantar ye mii achar charcha ki kena kai sangeet vasin. Tar ha he name ko gurustan sati sangeet vasin samyak ajivika. 
तर आता जेव्हा गृहस्थांसाठी सम्यक आजीविका सांगितलेला आहे तर ते काय फक्त आजीविका म्हणजे तुमच्या अर्निंग किंवा जॉब बद्दल आहे का तर ते लाईफस्टाईल बद्दल बोलत आहेत की तुमच्या लाईफस्टाईल मध्ये तुम्हाला चेंजेस आणायला पाहिजे म्हणजे तुम्ही तुमच्या जीवनामध्ये मेडिटेशन साठी पण टाईम काढायला पाहिजे तुमच्या दिवसभराच्या टाइमामध्ये तुम्ही मेडिटेशन साठी टाईम काढायला पाहिजे तुम्ही जिथेही राहत असाल आता काही काही लोक म्हणतात की माझ्या घरात फक्त दोनच रूम आहेत कसं करणार किंवा मग ते तो एक व्यक्ती म्हणाला की दोन रूम आहेत पण माझ्या घरी झाड आहे सिस्टर म्हणाल्या की झाड आहे ना तुझ्या घरी तर तू तिकडे एक बेंच ठेव त्या बेंचवर जाऊन काय करायचं बसायचं आणि तुम्ही काय करायचं डोक्यावर पूर्ण एक कपड्याने तुम्ही स्वतःला कव्हर करून टाका आणि बसून मेडिटेशन करा आणि सगळ्यांना असं सांगायचं की जो कोणी या बेंचवर बसून मेडिटेशन करेल त्याला तुम्ही डिस्टर्ब करायचं नाही त्यावेळेस त्याला एकांताचा तो टाईम द्या तर तुमच्या फॅमिलीमधून कोणताही मेंबर त्या बेंचवर जाऊन मेडिटेशन करू शकतो किंवा तुम्ही असंही करू शकता की तुमचा जो बेड असतो ज्याच्यावर तुम्ही झोपता झोपले सपोज तर उठून त्याला फोल्ड करायचं आणि त्याला सीट सारखं त्याच्यावरच बसायचं आणि जर झोप लागायला आली तर त्यालाच बेड म्हणून त्याच्यावर तुम्ही झोपू शकता म्हणजे मेडिटेशन तुम्ही करू शकता आणि दुसरा भाग म्हणजे तुमचा जॉबचा भाग तर असा कोणता जॉब आहे की ज्याच्यात तुम्हाला तुमच्या जीवनासाठीच वेळ मिळत नाही तर तुम्हाला ना तुमच्या जीवनामध्ये बॅलन्स करता यायला पाहिजे तुमचा प्रोफेशनल जॉब आहे आणि तुमच्या स्वतःच्या लाईफसाठी तर तुमच्या जॉबमधून तुम्हाला तुमच्या जीवनासाठी मेडिटेशनसाठी टाईम काढायलाच पाहिजे असं कोणतं आहे की ज्याच्यात तुम्हाला स्वतःसाठीच वेळ मिळत नाही तर असं नाही आहे तुम्हाला काढायचं त्याला म्हटलेलं आहे सम्यक आजीविका ज्याच्यामध्ये तुमची लाईफस्टाईल आणि जॉब त्याच्यामध्ये इन्क्लुडेडच आहे जॉब तर आहेच तुमचं जे अर्निंग्स आहेत ते आहेतच त्याच्यात पण त्याला पण कसं तुम्ही करते करता करता स्वतःसाठी पण तुम्हाला वेळ द्यायचा आहे आणि मेडिटेशन पण करायचं So see, this is all about incorporating Buddhism into your life, not setting it up as extracted, but setting it up as a part of your integrated life. You see? Okay. Here is that Buddhism is the Buddha and the Shikwa Nila. You have to be able to live in your daily life. That's what it is. Now, the last, three, the last three pieces on here they basically are about method the method of your practice these are apply they're part of your actual meditation practice but you apply it into life let's look at those ata is past sahaba ji ahe ye samyak vayamo manje samyak mehnat exertion efforts takne ani kasha madhe to tumcha practice madhe so the first one is effort right effort and this this basically is a practice when we go into the the sutras and we read the description of right effort there is no question what this is it is not four separate types of effort it is one practice of effort with four steps that's what it is jeva apan sutta madhe efforts baddal chi charcha bagto to tyachya madhe kai asa prashna nahi hai तर एफर्ट एकच आहे किंवा मेहनत एकच आहे पण त्याच्यामध्ये चार पद्धत आहेत ऑफ कोर्स आय एक्सपेक्ट यू टू टेस्ट इट टू सी व्हॉट आय एम सेइंग फॉर युअरसेल्फ बट द फोर स्टेप्स आर टू नंबर 1 रिकॉग्नाइज अनहोलसम माइंड स्टेट्स इन योर माइंड म्हणजे मला अशी अपेक्षा आहे की तुम्ही हे सगळं बघावं तर नंबर 1 आहे की तुमच्या चित्तातले अकुशल स्थिती किंवा अवस्था तुम्हाला बघायला पाहिजे नंबर 2 you are to let go of the unwholesome mind state and relax your head ani dusra ahe ki je kahi akushal utpanna hote hai chitta madhe te tumhala jau deta yala pahije when you let go you have not let go completely of all tension that's why you do the relax step after you do the letting go ani jeva tumhi tyana let go karta keva sodun deta te tumhi purna karat nahi त्याच्यामुळे ना त्याच्यानंतर रिलॅक्स करायचं असतं ओके अँड नंबर 3 यू आर गोइंग टू ब्रिंग अप अ होलसम टू टेक द प्लेस ऑफ दैट अनहोलसम तिसरा आहे की तुम्ही आता काहीतरी कुशल उत्पन्न करताय कारण का अकुशलची जागा रिकमी झाली आहे त्याला भरण्यासाठी कुशल आ व्हाय आर यू गोइंग टू डू दैट आणि कशाला आपल्याला ते करायचं बिकॉज द युनिव्हर्सल लॉ देयर इज अ लॉ इन द युनिव्हर्स इट विल नॉट अलाउ यू टू लीव अ वॅक्यूम मीनिंग इट विल नॉट अलाउ यू टू टेक समथिंग यू हैव बीन डूइंग ऑल द टाइम अवे अँड जस्ट लीव अ होल 
हे निसर्गाचा नियम आहे म्हणजे युनिव्हर्सचा लॉ आहे की कुठलीच जागा रिकामी तर सोडत नाही जी जागा रिकामी झाली आहे त्याला तो भरतोच कशाने यु मे हॅव हर्ड मी एक्सप्लेन टू यू दॅट द युनिव्हर्स इज आर हेल्पर इट्स नॉट अगेन्स्ट अस इट्स देअर टू हेल्प अस तुम्ही मला असं सांगताना बघितलं असेल की मी सांगितलेलं आहे की हे जे युनिवर्स आहे ते आपलं मदतच करणार आहे बट वी हॅव टू अंडरस्टँड हाव द युनिवर्स कम्युनिकेट्स अँड इट्स नॉट द सेम वे एज वी टॉक पण आपल्याला समजायला पाहिजे की हे जे युनिवर्स आहे आपल्याशी कसा संवाद साधत आहे In this case it's very clear whoever's keeping track of stuff in the universe wherever they are okay they um are keeping sort of like a record of this consciousness in this body here he je koni loka ahe je ya universe cha track thevat ahe to te tanna te jantat ki he je consciousness ahe what sister it's like, just um, it's like a book on everybody there's a book on you a book on me a book on Achha, him it's that it's that idea that's been passed down for ages and ages and ages that this living here on Achha. earth is like all a big experiment ah ya prithvivar jagna ek khup mota experiment ahe asa you know okay <laughs> we're being tested we don't know where we're what's happening but you know we're, we're sort of in a test uh, tube thing Achha. or something <laughs> आपल्याला मित्रभावना किंवा लविंग काइंडनेसने जर नाही रिप्लेस केलं तर एका हफ्त्यानंतर पुन्हा ते अँग्री अँगरच परत येणार आहे इट डझंट जस्ट गो वे व्हेन यू स्टॉप डूइंग इट अँड यू डोंट रिप्लेस इट विथ समथिंग एल्स ते असंच निघून जात नाही जर तुम्ही त्याला थांबवलं तर जेव्हापर्यंत तुम्ही त्याच्या जागी दुसरं आणत नाही तेव्हापर्यंत ते पूर्ण जात नाही इफ यू हॅव अ बॅड हॅबिट अँड यू जस्ट स्टॉप डूइंग इट यू गॉट टू रिप्लेस इट विथ अ गुड हॅबिट जर तुम्हाला कोणत्या वाईट सवयी असतील आणि तुम्ही त्या वाईट सवयी आता थांबवल्या तर तुम्हाला त्या वाईट सवयींच्या जागी चांगल्या सवयी आणाव्या लागतील आय एम लाफिंग बिकॉज समवन कॉल्ड मी वन्स व्हेन आय वाज फर्स्ट बिगिनिंग टीचिंग एंड सेड टू मी ऑन द फोन लिसन यू टोल्ड मी आई हैव टू लेट दिस गो एंड देन आई हैव टू सेट अप अ गुड हॅबिट बट आय डोंट वांट टू हैव एनी हॅबिट्स इन माय लाइफ सिस्टर म्हणतात की मला आता हसायला येतंय कारण का जेव्हा मी पहिल्यांदा शिकवायला लागली होती तेव्हा कोणीतरी मला फोन करून सांगितलं की तुम्ही म्हणता की वाईट हॅबिट्स आपल्याला सोडून द्यायचे आहेत आणि ह्या गोष्टी सोडायच्या आहेत पण मला कोणतीच हॅबिट नको वेल द ट्रुथ द ट्रुथ ऑफ द मॅटर इज एव्हरी लिव्हिंग अॅनिमल दे हॅव हॅबिट्स and you know they're you're going to have good habits the horse the horse is going to have good habits and walk and trot and canter or the horse is going to walk and trot when you want him to canter he's going to buck you so you have to train that horse to walk the right way this is just a fact satya hai hai ki pratyekas vyakti la habits astat जसं एखादा घोडा जर तुम्ही त्या घोड्यावर असणार तो सरळ सरळ चालेल जर त्याला तुम्ही ट्रेन केलं पण जर तुम्ही त्याला ट्रेन नाही केलं ना तुम्ही त्याच्यावर चढलं की तो तुम्हाला उचलून फेकेल ट्रेनिंग करणं गरजेचं असतं द रियालिटी इज ह्युमन बीइंग्स ऑल हॅव हॅबिट्स सो यू स्टार्ट आउट विथ turning to the wholesome habits now okay this is like a clock if you want to argue about it it's a clock you know and the totally wholesome is over here on the 9 and the totally unwholesome is over here on the 3 okay now the problem is the best place for you to end up when you're training is to end up on the 6 on the 6 but it's like a pendulum it goes you know that way and this way and this way okay you want to end up here in total complete balance okay but it's not always easy to do that it's not it's on it's easy to do it so in the in the end of advanced buddhism you give up liking and disliking when you fall into cessation this is true you do you give up everything but a monk or a nun we can't come to you and say we're going to teach you buddhism we need you to end up to let go of absolutely everything and 
in the beginning, even if you go through to a state where you've let go of everything, you're going to come back in this human body and you're going to have to live to the end of your life, right? And there's, there's good and there's bad and there's wholesome and unwholesome, you see? So where are you going to lean? To eliminate the unwholesome, you build up the strength of the wholesome. Then you, you, you let it go. It swings back here. Then you work at this level at the six until you understand everything. Then when you let go of everything to experience the final steps, when you come back, you're extremely balanced. You are patient. That's Kanti. <laughs> <laughs> and you're ready for peace that's kama okay <laughs> and then you you keep staying with the wholesome as much as possible until you pass away even in this life even if you don't go through you this is the way you you do this so that you don't harm anyone else and you keep you, you don't hurt yourself or anyone else you're compassionate to yourself but compassionate to other people your balance it's all about balance isn't it it's all about balance go ahead <laughs> whatever wherever you go where i know wherever you go you know when we translate when she translates with me she's great the thing is uh, we do it in concepts just yes. con and she just she's doing a beautiful job of a little simile here and a point and a simile and then and she takes it and she does such a great job so you you go where you want <laughs> तर प्रत्येक ह्युमन सत्य हेच आहे की आपल्या सगळ्यांमध्ये हॅबिट्स आहेत तर आपल्याला हेच करायचं आहे की जे अकुशल स्वभाव आहे त्याला कुशल स्वभावाने आपल्याला काय बदलायचंय तर त्यांनी सांगितलं की एका घराडीचं उदाहरण दिलं त्यांनी की ती बेस्ट वे अशी आहे की तुम्ही समजा की नऊचा काटा आणि तीनचा काटा तशी स्ट्रेट लाईन आहे ना सेंटरमध्ये तर एका ठिकाणी अनवोलस म्हणजे अकुशल स्वभाव आहे एका ठिकाणी कुशल स्वभाव आहे तर तुम्ही आधी काय करायचं त्या दोन्ही काट्यांना सहावन आणायचं म्हणजे आता ते एका ठिकाणी आले बरोबर आता आधी इकडे होते तर त्या दोघांना तुम्ही काय करा एका ठिकाणी आणा नंतर तुम्ही काय करा आता अनवोलसम आहे ना त्याला पूर्णपणे काढून टाका आणि होलसम ला असू द्या चांगल्या गोष्टीला असू द्या मग ती चांगली गोष्ट राहील आणि तुम्ही काय करणार मेडिटेशन मध्ये आता त्याला वाढवत जाणार आणि त्याला काय करणार पुढे पुढे जाणार बस इतकंच मला रिकलेक्ट होते अजून काय आठवत इतकंच होतं ना मेन येस येस Okay, so what you need to remember about right effort is the four steps. You need to remember that you are recognizing the unwholesome. You're letting go of the unwholesome. You're going to bring up a wholesome to replace it. And you're going to keep going with the wholesome. And the science behind this tells us that if you don't pay attention to the whole unwholesome, it's going to fall apart in your brain, your, your um, neural pathways and new neural pathways are gonna be built in your brain so you can have new habits going in the right direction with loving kindness, with compassion, with joy, with balance in your life. So then you said that you have four things that you have to do. One thing is that you have to do a lot of things that you have to do. सगळ्यात पहिले तर अकुशल मनाची स्थिती ओळखायची आहे त्याच्यानंतर अकुशल मनाची स्थिती काढून टाकायची आहे त्यानंतर कुशल डेव्हलप करायचं आहे आणि ते कुशल कंटिन्यू ठेवायचं ते चालू राहू द्यायचंय ओके The smile, keeping the ah, smile yeah. going is everything. The first two steps, recognizing mm -hmm. unwholesome, letting it go, okay? That is purification mm -hmm. of your mind. That is purification. The second two steps you do are bringing up a wholesome and trying to keep it going and make more that feel the same way as that. That one is retraining your mind. So this is an exercise, purification and retraining of mind. आता हे जे पहिले दोन स्टेज आहेत ना ते ऍक्च्युअली मनाचं शुद्धीकरण आहे की अकुशल ओळखणं आणि त्याला काढून टाकणं ते शुद्धीकरण झालं आणि दुसऱ्या ज्या स्टेज आहेत की कुशलला डेव्हलप करायचंय आणि त्याला कंटिन्यू ठेवायचंय त्याला म्हणतात की तुम्ही तुमच्या मनाला आता पुन्हा प्रशिक्षित करत आहात रिट्रेनिंग त्याच्याने काय होतं ना आपल्या मेंदूचा जो सिस्टम आहे ब्रेनचा कि तो हळूहळू आहे ना ते अकुशल तुम्ही करत नाही आहे ना तर हळूहळू ते अकुशल आहे ना कुशल मध्ये कन्वर्ट होणार आणि तुमचे हॅबिट्स आहेत ना बदलायला लागतील आणि मग ते पॉझिटिव्हच हॅबिट्स मध्ये ते डेव्हलप होतील 
Okay. Okay. So that part is what our practice is all about. We know that six R's is exactly the four steps of right effort. That's what it's doing. So the second method, method point is mindfulness, right mindfulness. And we're very stern about this mindfulness business. Uh, mindfulness is your observation power. It is your actual observing that the actual action of observing in a very special way mindfulness manje sammasati mindfulness manje bagane manje tumcha bagnyacha power shamata tumhi vadavat asta manje eka vishesh paddhatine ata tumhi baghat asta tyala bolta mindfulness sammasati this is not a casual seeing or a casual hearing where you just see you just hear smell taste or touch this is a kind of observation that has talent mm -hmm. and the talent it has is helping you to remember what to do when you an unwholesome thought comes up in your mind it teaches you to re, you see the unwholesome thought but it teaches you to remember what to do how to let go of it hey, and how to continue going hey, हे नाही आहे बघणं हे एक विशेष प्रकारचं बघणं आहे याला एक टॅलेंट लागतं स्किल लागतं ज्याच्यात तुम्ही बघताना तुम्हाला लक्षात राहतं की आता अकुशल उत्पन्न झालाय मला त्याला सोडून द्यायचंय कुशलाला उत्पन्न करायचं याला म्हणतात बघणं एका विशेष प्रकाराने बघणं हे दररोजचं बघणं ऐकणं ऐकणं नाही हे वेगळ्या प्रकारचं हा याला म्हणतात सम्मा सती सम्मासाठी It's so this this observation is helping you uh, to remember to do the six R's. And then it, the second part is it's teaching you to remember to do all six steps of it and keep doing it all the time. It help, it's, the guy, it's the part of your brain that's in, trying to nudge you. It's trying to help you to remember to keep this practice going all the time. When you're going to a meeting, when you're going to the courts, when you are going to school, when you're doing a job, all the time, you, it helps you to remember all the steps and it helps you to make sure, it, it helps you to remember, I need to do all of them, not just part of them. See? Hege samma sati ahe. He vishish prakartsa bhagna ahe. म्हणजे हे बघताना तुम्हाला सिक्स आर्स लक्षात राहतात ह्या पूर्ण सिक्स आर्स ह्याच्या सगळ्या स्टेप्स आहेत हे तुम्ही एकदम लक्ष देऊन एकदम समजून घेऊन ते बघत असतात आणि ही जी संवासती आहे हे जे मी दैनंदिन तुमच्या जीवनामध्ये ऑफिसला जाताना काम करताना किंवा कुठलंही काम करताना हे सिक्स आर तुम्ही काय करता अप्लाय करू शकता तुम्ही तुमच्या जीवनामध्ये आणू शकता त्याला म्हणतात संवासती And then we go to the last one. And this is really important because this is a balancing point. This is one of the method, methods of the practice. It's about that. And if you're not paying attention to um, harmonious collectedness of mind, and, and this is a different word, we usually hear concentration. We'll talk about that in a second. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, I hear concentration, samma, samadhi. डिस्कशन refining retuning your concentration so that it becomes operational in your meditation properly ye jo concentration ahe kiwa he ahe he eliminate karnyasathi nahi ahe kon se eliminate karnyacha concentration nahi ahe ulat tumhi tumcha concentration la vyavasthit vyavasthit tuning karat asta jasa apan te pahile na te vina cha udaharan kasa te vyavasthit tune karaycha tumcha hishobane tasha prakarcha concentration hai operative concentration म्हणजे हे ऍक्च्युली चलनामध्ये आहे तुम्ही ते करत आहात त्या प्रकारचं कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन ओके सो दिस कम्स बॅक टू द बुद्धा अँड इट कम्स बॅक टू अनंद आस्किंग द बुद्धा इज देयर गुड मेडिटेशन अँड इज देयर बॅड मेडिटेशन वन टाइम ही हॅड दॅट डिस्कशन जेव्हा आनंद एकदा बुद्धांना विचारतात की 
चांगलं मेडिटेशन कोणतं आणि वाईट मेडिटेशन कोणतं And, and you have to listen carefully because you know he doesn't put down anything he doesn't criticize anything he just makes it clear what is what is operative and what is inoperative okay ते फक्त सांगतात की चांगलं काय आणि वाईट काय ऑपरेटिव्ह म्हणजे ऍक्च्युअल काम करणारा पद्धत कोणती आहे सो द वन थिंग वी कॅन से अबाउट द बुद्धा वॉज व्हेन ही डिसाइड्स टू टीच ही इज व्हेरी क्लियर द मटेरियल इज गोइंग टू टीच एंड ही इज नॉट मिक्स्ड अप एट ऑल ही वॉज व्हेरी एक्स्ट्रीमली ऑर्गनाइज्ड एंड सिस्टमेटाइज्ड द वे ही वॉज टीचिंग पीपल जेव्हा पण बुद्धा काही शिकवतात ना तर तेव्हा ते खूप क्लिअरली शिकवतात आणि खूप सिस्टमॅटिक पद्धतीने ते शिकवतात म्हणजे खूपच जास्त सिस्टमॅटिक आणि ते कोणाला शिकवत आहेत आणि एकदम क्लिअरली शिकवत सम पीपल सम पीपल से यु नो दॅट ही सेड एट वन वे हिअर इन अनदर वे देअर बट आय गिव्ह यू अन एक्झाम्पल लाईक इन द इन द ट्वेल्व लिंक्स ऑफ डिपेंडंट ओरिजिनेशन आय कॅन शो यू सुटर्स दॅट आर युझिंग फायव्ह सेव्हन नाईन अलेव्हन 12 and 24 but they're not contradicting each other they were addressing different situations that you face in your practice of meditation kai lok mantat ki buddha ithe vegla paddhatine shikotat tikde vegla vegla shikotat but the system mantat ki mi tumhala dakhu shakte ki dependent origination kute buddha ni 5 kute 6 7 kute 9 kute 12 kute 24 ashe sangitlele ahet pan te ek एकाही सुत्तामध्ये किंवा एकाही ठिकाणी ते एकमेकांना कॉन्ट्राडिक्ट नाही करत ते डिपेंड्स ते वेगवेगळ्या पद्धतीने कोणाला सांगत आहे I mean let's be honest he was using a uh, dependent origination to explain the teaching of anatta uh buddha dependent origination ki shikwan hi anatta shikwanyasathi shikotat you see that's a good example but he is only using six pieces right त्याच्यात बुद्ध फक्त त्याच्यातल्या सहा लिंक्स युज करतात अनंत शिकवतात मॅटर इज अ नथा आणि तिथे मेन सब्जेक्ट आहे अनंत ओके अँड सो वेन ही इज डुईंग दॅट ही इज युझिंग कॉन्टॅक्ट फिलिंग क्रेविंग आय सॉरी ही इज युझिंग ही इज युझिंग देन्स टूर लाईक द आय अँड द फॉर्म्स दॅट द आय सीज अँड द आय कॉन्शियसनेस देअर इज थ्री तिथे ते डोळे डोळ्यांनी पाहिजेतलेलं ऑब्जेक्ट आणि डोळ्यांचं कॉन्शियसनेस हे तिघांना तिघांबद्दल कॉन्टॅक्ट बद्दल शिकवत आणि कॉन्टॅक्ट मुळे कस फिलिंग उत्पन्न होतात अँड फिलिंग एस कंडिशन राईट देन क्रेविंग अरायसेस दॅट्स एस फॉर एज इट गोज right so that was even fewer wasn't it because uh-huh. it was the six sense doors and contact and feeling and craving that's four ani feeling mode kasa trushna utpanna hote bas itparyant se sangtat karan ka tanna anatta shikvaycha okay all right and so this is what i mean and then in another sutta he's using 24 pieces ani eka sutta madhe tar te 24 tyatle links use karta so why why is he doing that Hey, they also can't do that. Well, because he was teaching you from the very first moment you decide to learn Buddhist meditation until you get all the way to Nibbana. He's teaching you how the suffering arises, how it passes away. Okay, the suffering, the cause, how it passes away. And he's teaching you path in the, that whole sutta, the Chichaka Sutta. And then, and, mm, that's not where it was. I'm sorry, it wasn't where it was, not Chichaka. But this sutta is basically um, what Upani, Upan, Upanisa Sutta. Upanisa. Upanisa Sutta. And so in this Upanisa Sutta, you are learning from the very time you, uh, you start. you have you you have you faith in the buddha and now you want to find out if he's real okay so then you practice okay uh, the first time that you practice you have pamoja come up and that's relief to that three right uh-huh. okay so you you start and you practice and pamoja uh-huh. comes up that's relief uh-huh. okay and then uh after pamoja comes up you continue on to practice and pt comes up that's joy right the joy the uplifted joy the pt comes up and then when the pt fades away then pasadi comes up 
This is tranquility, the tranquility. And then when the tranquility passes away, uh, sukha comes up. Sukha is an internal Buddhist happiness, contentment, uh, contentment and certainty of yourself and your life. Be very confident, you know? And you know what this is all about, how it's all working, no secrets anymore, okay? So that one was um, uh, uh, Sukha, and that's considered Buddhist happiness, okay? And then after this Buddhist happiness, you stop and, and you, then you, you, you enjoy this feeling, and then you come back and practice again. When you practice again, suddenly you see, you realize that big long phrase, <laughs> um, you realize uh, knowledge of how things actually work, knowledge of how everything's work. You know, dependent origination, you know the tilakana, you've learned all this and you see how everything works. So that's that one, okay? And then you go back and practice after you realize you know that your confidence goes up and then you practice and then you, you experience disenchantment. And disenchantment just means you're not enchanted with normal people doing stuff without any knowledge of this. You want to can see how it's basically, I want to see how deep the rabbit hole goes in Alice in Wonderland. You want to go in the hole and find out where it really goes. That's what you guys are doing. You guys are investigating the rabbit hole and you want to see how far you can go with this, okay? And then once you're in there, you're moving along in quiet mind, very, very still, very, very, very quiet, right? And you're in equanimity is getting very, very strong now and, and you're in there. And then what happens is you hit dispassion and now you don't have reactions to things. You are really responding to life. You are stable, you are calm and you are really remarkably surprised that when the, the car comes to a stop after you almost went off a cliff or something, your stomach and your heart should be jumping, but you're just there, okay, fine. Now let's drive to the store. <laughs> you're not upset anymore. You're very much living in what is essentially happening and you're letting go of everything that's unessential from the past or the future that is pressing on you. You're getting close, you're getting very close. And then the next thing that happens is the Vimudi. And the Vimudi, the Vimudi, when that happens is the, uh, the liberation of the mind and it's the coming out and the re falling into Niroda and then the Vimudi and then coming out. And, and then you are realizing that you have actually gone to the the Nibbana, you've experienced this. And, and this is an opening of the mind. This is, a, it's a wonderful thing. Your, your, your senses and everything sharpen up. Your eyes and ears and nose and tongue are like a newborn child. One of the retreats I was at said, we should call this the newborn brain. Yeah, but then another retreat that I went to said that we should call this rebooting the computer. <laughs> And that's what a lot of people can identify with. Everybody can identify with the trouble you have on the computer. And so when you have to give up and just go, why are you doing this to me? And you go and you reboot the computer. Well, so you reboot the computer, you have another chance at life and getting your homework done. <laughs> So okay. she's not going to go through all of those, but unless you want to, <laughs> okay, okay. But the but the Upanisha Sutta had all these pieces in it, and then it flips over, and in the Upanisha Sutta goes uh, at the end, you're you're reborn into suffering, and it takes you through the twelve links. So see, we had twelve pieces there. You see, and now we have 12 more and it keeps going like this, keeps going around and around and around. Just remember Slinky, Slinky, the wire that goes around and around and around, the one that you can make it go up down the stairs like this, you know, start it and, it, and the, all that coil, you know, it's a coil and it's spinning very, very, very fast in your mind. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Okay, 
तर त्यांनी सांगितलं की कोणत्या कोणत्या सुत्ता मध्ये ती शिकवण कशी बदलते सेम शिकवण वेगवेगळ्या सुत्तात कशी काय बदलते कुठे पाच कुठे नऊ कुठे हे आणि कुठे चोवीस तर कारण का तिथे बुद्ध आहे ना त्या व्यक्तीला मेडिटेशनच्या सुरुवात पासून शिकवत असतात ते निब्बाणापर्यंत ते सुद्धा वेगळे कारण का तिथे सुरुवात ते निब्बाणापर्यंतची शिकवण आहे म्हणून तिथे जास्त गोष्टी मधल्या मधल्या गोष्टी पण सांगतात जसं आता प्रॅक्टिस करतानाच्या वेगवेगळ्या स्टेजेस त्यांनी सांगितल्या की प्रॅक्टिस करताना कसं चित्ताची कशी वेगवेगळी अवस्था उत्पन्न होते की कुठे कधी पीती उत्पन्न होते कधी चित्त पसद्धी उत्पन्न होते कधी तो सुख उत्पन्न होतो तर हे जे स्टेजेस मध्ये उत्पन्न होतं ना तो तो आनंद जो उत्पन्न होतो ना आणि आपण तो आनंद बघितलेला असतो प्रॅक्टिस केल्यानंतर की हो खरंच हा आनंद उत्पन्न होतो आणि जेव्हा ते आपण स्वतः बघतो ना तर आपल्यामध्ये आत्मविश्वास निर्माण होतो एक कॉन्फिडन्स निर्माण होतो त्या गोष्टीसाठी आणि मग आपल्याला ना त्या गोष्टीला अजून बघण्याची इच्छा असते जे सिस्टरने रॅबिट होल सांगितलं की एखादा ससा कसा एखाद्या होलमध्ये राहतो एकदम बारीक होलमध्ये राहतो तर आपल्याला आता त्या होलच्या अंत पर्यंत बघायचं आहे कारण का आपण त्याची सुरुवात बघितली की अरे हे तर खरंच असंच आहे तो आनंद तर होतोय मला तो आनंद जाणलो मी म्हणजे पुढे पण सांगितलेले ते पण आहेत अजून आपल्याला ना शोध घ्यायचा असतो तर तो होल आता छोटा आहे तरी पण तुम्ही त्याच्यात बघता काय आहे आतमध्ये काय आहे आतमध्ये तर त्या रॅबिट होलमध्ये पण आपण आतमध्ये शिरतो तर कारण का आपल्याला बघायचं असतं तर त्या प्रकारे ना ही प्रॅक्टिस आहे आणि त्याच्यामुळे ना बुद्धांची शिकवण आहे ना प्रत्येक सुत्तामध्ये त्यांना काय सांगायचं असतं ना त्याच्यावर निर्भर आहे पहिल्या याच्यात अनत्त सांगायचं होतं तर म्हणून त्यांनी सहाच लिंक्स घेतल्या याच्यात ते निब्बाणापर्यंत सांगतात म्हणून त्या पीसेस काय होतात त्या वाढतात पण ऍक्च्युली अप्रोच तोच आहे असं आहे नो बरी शुड स्किप द मोजीमिकाय ट्रांसलेशन tight and it can't be too loose like she's already i heard her already explain to you ha ye jo concentration hai na ye ekdam pan tumhara tight kiwa ekdam pan loose nahi see they i think yeah. i think they knew this in the beginning but i think what happened over time and i can only guess you know it's a long timeline but um the problem is every culture goes through a period of time where concentration is really really hard or it's relaxed the concentration in india right now is pretty tight for those who want to be entrepreneurs and very successful they want to be more like the west and things like they're they're competing there there's a lot of stress there you know a lot of that that's the wrong kind of concentration all right you see okay so competitiveness and this kind of concentration mixed is a really bad deal and a bad idea if you want to find out how the buddha is teaching because he's teaching you to let go relax and smile he's teaching you to to learn to enjoy joy when it's there but remember it's subject to anicca it's going to change and as long as you remember that you're not shocked you don't fall into suffering you know that ata he je concentration baddal tanni sangitela ahe ki bharatamadhe khupat tan tanav ahe tan tanav mhanje kutlahi business kartana kiwa tumhala entrepreneur banaycha asel तो खूपच ताणतणाव आहे कारण का आपण आहे ना वेस्टच्या लोकांबद्दल सोबत किंवा बाहेरच्या देशातल्या लोकांसोबत कम्पीट करतो त्याच्यामुळे इतकं ताणतणाव आहे ते तर इथे आहे ना ते थोडस चुकीच्या दिशेला जात तर ते बुद्ध म्हणतात की तुम्ही सगळं एन्जॉय करा खुश राहा ते पण बदलणार आहे Okay so the bottom line here is that in some cultures the word concentration just isn't going to be a good word to try to get to nibbana kai kai cultures madhe ha jo shabd hai concentration ha itka 
पॉझिटिव्हली घेत नाही कि हा शब्द हे निब्बाना पर्यंत नेणार आहे असं बट at the same time i don't want to send concentration away i want to say that concentration has to be retuned very carefully and has to be refined and what it means is gently collecting your collecting your brain your mind into a place where you can focus gently and you can see everything inside inside what's happening okay um if we're if we're too tight with our concentration we cannot see the things that we are talking about in the anupada sutta however if we relax and open our mind sariputta's experience can be experienced by someone whose concentration is in a balance is properly balanced you can see it i know because most of you are seeing it त्या म्हणतात की कॉन्नी असं नाही म्हणणार की कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन करणं सोडून द्या पण आपण त्याला रिफाईन करूया तुम्ही तुमच्या कॉन्सन्ट्रेशनला ट्यून करा प्रॉपर आपण ते बघितलं विनयचं उदाहरण असं प्रकारे ट्यून करा की तुम्हाला ना गोष्टी दिसायला लागतील जास्त टाईट केलं तर काहीच दिसणार नाही आणि जास्त लूज केलं तरी काही दिसणार नाही त्याला प्रॉपर ट्यून करा तुमच्या हिशोबाने ते आपण करतो ना मला आठवतं की आता मी सांगत नाही ट्यून करायचं व्यवस्थित की तुम्हाला ते व्यवस्थित दिसेल मला आठवतंय आम्ही टीव्हीचे चॅनल आधी दुसऱ्या टीव्ही तर बरोबर तो चॅनल असतो ते चित्र व्यवस्थित दिसलं पाहिजे तसं रेडिओ फ्रिक्वेन्सी जशी आपण करतो की तो आवाज यायला पाहिजे तसं व्यवस्थित करा तुमच्या कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन इट्स इस लाईक कम्पेअरिंग इट ओनली वन थिंग रिअली फास्ट इट्स लाईक cycling not motorcycles but cycling uh, long distance cycling takes a lot of training and i did it for a number of years i did it so that a couple years i rode over 25 or 20, 2800 miles one year and 2200 miles the, the second year that i really pushed to to do this you know but we cannot get tight on our bike we, these bikes uh, if you can imagine these bikes only weigh the really expensive bikes they only weigh 8 7 or 8 pounds they're made of titanium that's like i can take my bike i used to take it and put it on my shoulder and go to lunch and sit it down beside the table <laughs> and have have salad and then get back on my bike and ride back home 70 miles to get a, a bowl of salad and 70 miles to go back home you see 40 and 40 these kinds of rides were long long rides but we can't get tight on these bikes and get pressurized or we will make a mistake and we will make a mistake with uh, our pedals and our gears and and um nice. the speed of maintaining the speed mm. if we're with a group of cat 1 yes. or cat 2 people if they let you ride with them <laughs> if you make a mistake <laughs> you are left behind and they just keep going yeah and then you go back to your car by yourself and you go home and talk to them the next day you know, it's like <laughs> i've done that a few times i don't really I, i don't really like to go but it's sometimes it's fun to go with them if they're really good and they're safe when you ride these bikes you can never ever leave your seat you must always be sitting that means the idea of getting up and pedaling hard it all gone it's all gone so so this is like what we're calling about balancing concentration so that we can ride the bike in the right position and keep everything in our mind and it's all working together well that's how your concentration has to be aba tani udaharan sangitla cycling cha asa normal cycling nahi long distance ji cycling asta na tumhi aiklo asen kai kai lok cycle varas kuti kitti tari lam jatat ta sister sangtat ki mi kudda asa kelela ahe cycling keleli ahe ani ti ji cycle asta na ti titanium chi bandeli asta na khupas halki asta ki tumhi tumcha khandyavar pan uchlu shakta pan tya cycle var jar tumhi khupas asa tight asa handle pakadla ani khuba बॅलन्स असलं पाहिजे एकदम टाईट धरून नका ठेवू नाही तर तुम्ही पुढे जाऊ मागे राहून जाणार त्याला बॅलन्स करा हलकं राहा लूज सोडा लूज नाही नॉर्मल आणि बघा म्हणजे तुम्ही त्यांच्यासोबत राहणार लॉंग डिस्टन्स जाणार आणि उठू नका मध्येच उठून उभं राहून चालू नका पाहिजे 
Well, she's right. She's right. It starts to wiggle. <laughs> it just starts to wiggle. It's terrible. And these things are so delicate. They're so, so fine. Okay. So the only thing that's, that's how we look at this whole uh, eight uh, fold path in relationship directly to using tranquil wisdom insight meditation. And it's a good idea to consider looking at this path this way. If you're doing a breathing meditation or any other kind of meditation to consider the what this is meaning because it's a really advanced level of looking at the eightfold path so we all know the um the uh the um that i should let you translate that meditation करत आहोत त्याच्या त्याच्यात बघत आहोत आणि ही खूप ऍडव्हान्स्ड पद्धत आहे एट फोल्ड पाथला बघण्यासाठी खूप वरची स्टेज वरची पद्धत आहे बघण्याची ओके दॅट्स अ गुड वन ऑलराइट सो सो वी ऑल नो दॅट वी कॅन गिव दिस पाथ इन अ जनरल वे टू फॅमिलीज इन द कम्युनिटी नाउ यू हर्ड दॅट वी कॅन गिव दिस पाथ to meditators specifically in line with the operation of your meditation ata paryanta apan aryashtangik marga baghitle ki apan families la dile ekhadya sampradaya la dile communities la dile pan ata apan ha aryashtangik marga la meditation kartana ani practice kartana kase karayche te sudha baghitle well i wasn't kidding you when i said there is a third way that we can look at the eightfold path मी जेव्हा तुम्हाला सांगितलं की तिसरं पद्धत पण आहे आर्यष्टांगिक मार्ग बघण्यासाठी तेव्हा मी काय फक्त नुसतं मजाक नव्हती करत म्हणजे मजेसाठी नव्हती बोलली सो रिअल क्विकली आय गोन टेल यू द स्टोरी अँड देन आय गोन साईन ऑफ ओके गोष्ट सांगते ते सांगण्यासाठी Okay, while I was in Sri Lanka, I had the opportunity to teach 12 women. Jeva me Sri Lanka ket hoti, teva mala ek sandhi miladi hoti 12 baikanna shikvanachi. And those 12 women were coming for a number of weeks uh, over to uh, a particular place and we were having a meeting on Saturdays. Ani ha ja 12 baika hotya ya kahi divas continuous yet rahila. Ami meeting karaycho. And mahila mahila striya. Okay. Yeah. And and so um I I like to give them ways to practice so they can discover how to get in touch with themselves if they didn't do any vipassana and they didn't do any meditation. आणि मी त्यांना सांगायची की तुम्ही स्वतःच्या मध्ये कसं यायचं जर म्हणजे स्वतःमध्ये कसं यायचं जर तुम्ही कोणत्या प्रकारचं मेडिटेशन आणि विपसना केली नसेल because if you're not an athlete and you're not a dancer then you don't you have a lot of in touch with your whole body you know so i was giving them different assignments like go out this, this week and find out how you see with your eye and practice one day when you take a walk at work how you hear how it works and how you smell at home and how you uh how you taste something when you're eating your lunch and how your body works when you're taking a walk ajar kutubi manje koni athlete nasta kiwa dancer nasta to sharira la ki kriya kriya naste tar mi tanna sangayche ki tumhi chala thodasa ani chaltanna tumhi bagha ki dolyanna kasa vatta kanana avaz aiklyar kasa vatta kiwa sharira la kut sparsha jhalyar kasa vatta tumhi tanna sangayche and this this was going pretty well they were they were doing these exercises and they were writing down things and i had each one had a book like i told you you need a little book Uh, a small kind of book like this to keep in your pocket to write down things that you want to go over uh, that happen in life that reflect your meditation ani he khup changla prakare chalu hota karan ka te sagle te aikat hote karat hote ani sagle lihun kadat hote notebook madhe so i decided to teach him the eightfold path mag mi tharavla ki mi yanna aryashtanki madhe chikwe and i taught them first i taught them the general way but then i taught them this way those two ways suruvatila mi yanna ekdam general way madhe shikona nantar mi yanna asha paddhatine shikona now i was really trying to encourage all these people to smile a lot because they were depressed the government was not cool at that particular time it was kind of oppressive on everybody and there was a lot of things going on and i just wanted to uplift them i wanted them to smile as much as possible ani mi ya sagla lokanna hasala shikola 
कारण का तिथे इतकं टेन्स वातावरण होतं किंवा इतके ते डिप्रेशन मध्ये होता तिकडच्या गव्हर्नमेंट मुळे म्हणून या लोकांना थोडस त्याच्यातून अपलिफ्ट किंवा बाहेर काढण्याचा प्रयत्न सो द आयडिया वॉज टू वर्क विथ ट्वेम एज मच एज पॉसिबल इन युअर जॉब इन लाईफ दॅट वॉज दिस वॉज दी एक्सरसाइज याची ही एक्सरसाइज याच्यासाठी होती की तुम्ही हे जे प्रॅक्टिस आहे ट्वेमची समज त्याची हे तुम्ही तुमच्या दैनंदिन जीवनात पण आणा most of the time i'm asking them just to practice twim but now i'm asking them a question that i this week i want you to check up on yourself and i want you to write the eightfold path down i want you to come back and i want you to tell me how you were using that eightfold path in your life how many times did you use that eightfold path in your life me tanna mag sangitla ki eka hafta cha tanna me task dila ki tumhi लिहून आणा एका आठवड्यानंतर की तुम्ही आर्य अष्टांगिक मार्ग तुमच्या जीवनामध्ये कसे इम्प्लिमेंट केले हे मला सांगा तुम्ही म्हणजे आठवड्यात एका आठवड्यात वेल आय डिन एक्सपेक्ट दिस बट देर वॉज काइंड ऑफ अ ओ माय गॉश व्हेन दॅट वॉज द रिस्पॉन्स दिस इज अ प्रिटी बिग डील टू आस्क अस टू टू कीप इन माइंड ऑल दीज एट थिंग्स ड्युरिंग व्हेन वर डुईंग स्टफ इन लाईफ अँड ट्राय टू keep track of it oh my goodness kya mana la re baap re he to khup kathin hai dainan din jivna cha aryashtangi marga cha track kyu na he to khup kathin hai well saturday rolled around and everybody came in there like in a half moon circle you know sitting there and i started to ask them one by one can you tell me how you 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 practice to the eightfold path this week ani shanivar ala ani te sagla ala dite आणि त्यांना मी एक एक करून विचारलं की सांगा मला तुम्ही कसं प्रॅक्टिस केलं आर्य अष्टांगी मेक दिस शॉर्ट बट यु नो दी इलेव्हन वुमेन हु स्पोक फर्स्ट सेड थिंग्स लाईक वेल वेल आय थिंक आय यूज इट वन टाइम फॉर सेव्हन डेज त्यातल्या अकरा जणींनी सांगितलं की आम्ही हे एकदा यूज केलं अँड अनदर वन वुड से वेल आय सॉ पार्ट ऑफ इट व्हेन आय वॉज डुईंग समथिंग इन द मिडल ऑफ द वीक आणि एक म्हणाली की मी याच्यातलं थोडासा भाग बघितला जेव्हा मी काहीतरी करत होती हफ्त्याच्या मध्ये अँड अनदर वन माईट से वेल आय जस्ट डिन हॅव टाइम आणि एकीने सांगितलं की मला वेळच मिळाला नाही दॅट वॉज द पॉप्युलर रिप्लाय बिकॉज आय वॉज आस्किंग फॉर एट पीसेस आय जस्ट डोंट हॅव टाइम या आणि हे खूप पॉप्युलर रिझन आहे की मला वेळ नाही ईच पर्सन वॉज आस्क लाईक वॉट दे डिड फॉर अ लिव्हिंग टू यु नो अँड देन दे वुड टेल मी देअर आन्सर आणि मी एका प्रत्येक व्यक्तीला विचारलं की ते त्यांच्या जीवनासाठी दैनंदिन जीवनासाठी काय करतात अँड द होल टाइम दीज वुमेन आर गिव्हिंग मी द आन्सर द ट्वेल्थ वुमेन इज सिटिंग एट द एन अँड शी इज जस्ट गोइंग लाईक दिस ओ बॉय शी इज वन आय एम वंडरिंग व्हॉट शी इज थिंकिंग अबाउट यु नो अँड आय गॉट टू हर नो बडी हॅड सेड दॅट दे ऍब्सोल्युटली डिडन ट्राय इट नो बडी सेड दॅट आणि त्यातल्या एकीने असं सांगितलं नाही की त्यांनी म्हणजे अजिबात त्याचा प्रयत्न केलेला नाही असं हर टर्न अँड आय आस्ट हर सो वॉट इड यू डू लास्ट वीक अँड शी सेड वेल यु नो आय आय वर्क रिअली हार्ड बट आय जस्ट आय जस्ट डिन हॅव टाइम टू टू डू समथिंग विथ दिस एट फोल पॅथ यु नो आय आय जस्ट आय डोंट थिंक आय युज इट मच ॲट ऑल दॅट्स वॉट शी सेड एकीने सांगितलं की मी खूप कठोर परिश्रम केले लास्ट वीक मध्ये पण मला मी म्हणजे मी हे आर्य अष्टाकी मार्ग बघण्याचा म्हणजे त्याच्यात प्रयत्न केला नाही अँड शी सेज यु नो शी सेज शी सेज टू मी ऍक्च्युली आय डोंट थिंक आय प्रॅक्टिस इट इन ऑल ती म्हणाली की ऍक्च्युली मी हे प्रॅक्टिसच केलं नाही शी इज अ रिअली ब्राईट लुकिंग पर्सन यु नो अँड आय सेट टू हर वॉल व्हाय ब्राईट मीन्स लाईक pretty and smart looking you know well dressed and i said to her what do you do for a living ati ekdam disala vyavasthap smart hoti tar tyanni vicharna dila ki tu actually dainandin jeevanasathi kay kartes and she she says to me i'm a customer service representative for a big department store ati manali ki mi customer representative service madhe ahe eka mothya departmental store madhe what does that mean i said ते काय असतं मी असं विचारलं इट मीन्स दॅट एव्हरीथिंग दॅट यू बॉट दॅट यू डोंट वॉन्ट यू ब्रिंग इट बॅक टू मी अँड आय हॅव टू डिसाईड इफ आय गो एक्सेप्ट इट अँड गिव्ह युअर मनी बॅक तुम्ही जर काही खरेदी केली असेल आणि तुम्हाला ते नको असेल तर ते तुम्ही माझ्याकडे आणा मग मी ठरवेल की मी हे परत घ्यायला पाहिजे की नाही अँड आय सेड वॉल ओके यू डोंट थिंक यू प्रॅक्टिस दॅट ऑल तर मी म्हणाली की म्हणजे तुला असं वाटतं का तू हे सगळं प्रॅक्टिस केलं आय आय रिअली डोंट थिंक आय युज इट ऍट ऑल 
And I said, well, let's, let, let's take a look at what you did. I said, first of all, um, you know, when you were helping these people, when you were helping them, did you have a, did you have a, a harmonious perspective? Were you doing it impersonally or were you taking it personally? What was happening? And she said, well, I have to have a happy, healthy view when the customer comes. And it's very good. So you had a good perspective and you, you look at, I have to look, she said, I have to look at every situation that happens like it's going to come out all right because I am representing the company and people are going to use the store or not use the store. I am very good. So you had a very good perspective. And then I said to her, um, you know, did you keep a healthy, wholesome image in your mind? And she said, I have to believe, keep a healthy image, a wholesome image, because if I don't keep a wholesome image in my mind, I could get really mad. That's what she said. You know, you can do that too. Yeah. So then I said, I to get a customer to get a to get a customer to get a customer to get a customer to कारागते कस्टमर आहेत तर ते मी व्यवस्थितच बघते तर मग दुसरं मग तुझे इंटेंशन किंवा विचार कसे असतात त्यावेळेस तर ती म्हणाली की म्हणजे तू इमेज कशी ठेवते मनात ती बोलली मी चांगलंच इमेज ठेवते मनात सो शी एक एक पॅरामीटर ते बघत होते शी ऑलवेज हॅड अ हेल्थी इमेज इन हर माइंड अँड हर पर्सपेक्टिव वाज पॉझिटिव्ह व्हेन शी वर्क्ड विथ द पर्सन पॉझिटिव्ह दृष्टिकोन आणि हेल्दी इमेजेस म्हणजे सो नाऊ वर अप टू होलसम हार्मोनियस कम्युनिकेशन अँड स्पीच and she said, well, I have to be very, very kind and I have to be good to them because otherwise they won't come back to the store again. So I have to be doing that. And my communication is very harmonious, it's very harmonious, otherwise the customer is not going to come And then she said, you know, I said, were you watching the movement of your mind's attention while you were practicing? She said, I no, actually I was. I was watching that even if I got annoyed with the person, annoyed with them, uh, I would have to pretend that I was happy. So I wasn't annoyed. I said, that's really good. You were practicing a whole, you know, the, this, this uh, uh, action. Yeah, this movement of what is this speech, right? Four. 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 <laughs> and then I said to her, I said to her, I said, how about your lifestyle? What happens to you when you go home after work? And does it work out okay? And she said, oh yeah, my husband doesn't mind listening to what happened at all. I can just talk to him and he'll just let me do that. And then I have a good space where I can go and just sit down and chill and do my meditation. And I always feel better. I said, that's really good. That's really a wholesome lifestyle. Really a wholesome lifestyle. See? Yeah, then the lifestyle with the which are the Timanami Joe Gariza, the Maja husband, and we suggest something, it's a lot of problem with the Mazaitana. So we tell us a girl something, and it's actually another Thoras space car, the time car, and it's a meditation. And then I asked her, I said, what about your practice? Are you using your practice in your job? And she said, oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, so much pressure comes up, she said, you know, and my boss coming out and asking me, how many people did I handle and what happened and everything else? So I'm, I'm actually practicing with every customer that comes through. I notice if I'm getting uptight, I'm just letting it go. I'm forgiving them the whole time. This was the best part. I'm forgiving them and I'm, I'm just having compassion for them, for the teapot that didn't work and <laughs> this that was broken and this that had to be fixed and we wanted a bigger one and all those things all day long. Can you imagine? So she's using right effort all day long. आणि मग त्यांनी विचारलं तू प्रॅक्टिस करते का म्हणजे एफर्ट्स टाकते का ती म्हणाली हो जेव्हा जेव्हा माझ्या मनात असे वाईट विचार येतात ना तेव्हा तेव्हा मी ते काढते कारण का मला माझ्या जॉब मध्ये जॉब करताना कधी कधी बॉसच येतो ओरडतो कधी कधी हे येतात तर मला ते सगळे विचार आहेत ना ते बघा बघते मी आणि मग त्याला काढून टाकते 
And how about your observation? She said, I can observe things very, very well. I have proper observation and see very quickly what is essential and what is unessential in the situation. I can use my form and fill it out precisely, very quickly. And I can keep smiling, she said, keep smiling. Then she said, I have pretty good, I guess I have pretty good collectedness because I don't get uptight and I'm not in high blood pressure, so I guess I'm okay. <laughs> but the thing is about your position, what do you do most? She said, you know what I do most? And it actually almost hurts because I smile all day at people. I smile at them no matter what they say. I forgive them and I keep smiling and smiling. I don't know if that smile is much good though, she said. So, so then I said to her this, okay, let's look at your smile real quick. Okay, if you're smiling, do you, are you practicing the right perspective? Yes. If you're smiling, do you have healthy images in your mind? If you're smiling, are you doing good, peaceful communication? Yeah. And if the movement of your mind's attention, is it in the right place when you're smiling? She said, yeah, it is. And you know, if, if your lifestyle is going well, are you e easy to smile? Yeah, she said, oh yeah. And then she, I said, well, your practice, when you're practicing, well, she said, the smile is part of the practice. I said, that's right. The smile, you have trained your brain to keep smiling and be one of the best customer service people that I've heard of so far and your observation of your your client the person that's in front of you that she says I just smile no matter what they say in communication I smile no matter what and I said why she said because we're going to take it back anyway <laughs> you know no matter how much they complain we're going to take it back and give them another one and you know because that's built into the program but she was laughing and everybody was laughing at that point because most of them had jobs in in the hospitals and in offices and stuff and yeah they were smiling so if you think you're not practicing the eightfold path you have to check again you have to check again. And so we have papers in retreat. Sometimes we give it to you and say, tell me what you did last week. How did you practice the Eightfold Point? You always remember, smile. And so we have a new word, by the way, in this retreat. Can you tell them the word? Yeah, yeah. The new word is Zaudia. <laughs> Zaudia. <laughs> you know, let it go. Never mind. Let it go and keep going and keep smiling. And the more smiles that you give people, the more easily it will be for you to smile in the future. And that's the, just about the end. Let me give you the closing here. So at the, this is all called the noble truth. And it's all called the way that's leading you to cessation. And at Veneris, the friends, in the deer park, the Isipatana, and Tagata, Tagata accomplished and fully enlightened. This is how he set rolling the matchless wheel of Dhamma so you could live the Dhamma in your life, which this Dhamma, it cannot be stopped by any recluse or by any Brahmin or God or Mara or Brahma or anyone in the world. That is the announcing and the teaching, the describing, the establishing, the revealing, the expounding, the exhibiting of these four noble truths, injecting them into your life and having them help you in whatever you are doing. And that is what the Venerable Sariputta said to the bhikkhus, and the bhikkhus were satisfied and delighted in the Venerable Sariputta's words.
So I want to thank everybody for coming. This is the first time that we're trying this, you know, on the internet with you with us during our class. I think it went pretty well, <laughs> not too bad, and we had fun with it. So let's close our closing and do our closing prayer for tonight. And again, we bless you all and hope that you will come back and join us again. So we'll do the prayer now. May suffering May ones be suffering, suffering free, and the fear strikes fear fearless as be. May the grieving shed all grief, and may all beings find relief. May all beings share this merit that we have thus acquired for the acquisition of all kinds of happiness. Be beings inhabiting space and earth, devas and nagas of mighty power, share this merit of ours. May they long protect the Buddhist dispensation. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. If you have any questions, please write us. You can write to Kanti Kema at Kanti Kema 2, Kanti Kema 2 at gmail.com. And we thank SVT for sponsoring us, the Samatha Vipassana Trust, and Jetwan Monastery for giving us the space for this retreat. If you want to do a retreat with us, there are still seats that are open for the 20th of this month to the 30th of this month. There's a train ride up here and the train, if you take the sleeper, if you can do that, is very clean, is very nice. It's an advertisement for the railroad system. They did a great job. The vendors do not get on and off the train. It's very safe. You bring your own blanket, your own pillow, and you have a good night's sleep and you wake up at the other end. We hope to see you and we wish you well. Bye-bye. Then we have...